you know, there, there was uh, an interesting article uh, by this guy, David Brooks, who um, they call him a conservative, but he writes for the New York Times. So he's obviously not really in a pigeonhole. He's more of an open-minded person. I've, I've heard him speak. He, um, at any rate, he wrote this article and it's, it's about identity politics and his explanation for why the United States is in this situation is that in the beginning, there was always a, a dynamism between pragmatic, pragmatic uh, these are Americans, you know, the American motivations, uh, rational, pragmatic, uh, related to the enlightenment, uh, science. And then on the other side, it's even on the money, it's a God-fearing nation. Mm. And so there was, you know, God was a very strong thing. Mm. And, you know, not too long ago, only 20% of the U.S. population thought that they could ever vote for an atheist to be president. Mm. And now those numbers have changed completely. Um, so he, what he's saying is that as um, since around the 1960s is where he places it, the uh, spirituality slash religion has been going down in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And so there isn't this balance between these two forces. So now what's separated uh, people is whether they're on the God side or on the Enlightenment side. You, you used to be able to be on both sides. It was all a balance. And now with religion becoming less popular, there's no more of a balance. There's people who are religious who want to impose that on the, the other people who mm. are more like atheists. And um, I, I just wrote an article in response to his article. It hasn't come out yet, but my article says it quotes him and, and it agrees with everything he says. But then it concludes that if science were to say, it's not impossible that the entire universe is one consciousness. We can't say that that's scientifically impossible. Mm -hmm. We know that consciousness exists because each of us experiences it directly. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, you, you can't say that consciousness is nonsense. It's, mm -hmm. it's not nonsense. We all experience it. So if it's not nonsense, the fact that it could all be consciousness, mm -hmm. which, you know, I, reading between the lines in, you know, what physicists say, like Wheeler and Hawking and Einstein, um, it's very possible that this that's what this universe is, one consciousness. And, and then you automatically get back a spiritual feeling about that. Mm -hmm. And even if you have a belief in a specific religion that talks about miracles happening thousands of years ago, if we're all one consciousness, Miracles could be explained scientifically. Hmm. So um, that's you know part of why I'm writing about spirituality is because I do feel that there's something missing. That it doesn't have to be a religion. It can be just spirituality without a religion. Mm -hmm. Some people, uh, the latest Gallup studies show that they're a big percentage of the U.S. population calls themselves spiritual but not religious. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that this this splitting that's taking place on, on the planet has something to do with our disillusionment about um, what's the meaning of life. If, if, if spirituality doesn't exist and everything is an accident and it's all just material, you know, things clobbering each other in space, this planet, this star, these things explode and so on and so forth. And that causes everything. And life came out of that and consciousness came out of that all accidentally. Not very plausible, but lots of people believe that that's the way it is. But it's disillusioning. Mm -hmm. It doesn't give you a good feeling. Whereas when you get a spiritual feeling, it's a very good feeling. It's a very positive feeling. Mm.